Hello everybody, uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. And in the last class we have seen Newton's second law and today we will see Newton's third law and gravitation. Till now we have seen Newton's first law and second law. Newton's first law says that if a body is at rest, it will always be at rest. Inertia of rest. If a body is in motion, let's say it's going by 10 meters per second velocity, and if there is no friction, nothing obstructing it, no force acting on it, it will go on going. That is a Newton's first law. Inertia of motion. Newton's second law is F is equal to Ma or A is equal to F by M. Both are the same thing. Newton's second law is F is equal to Ma or A is equal to F by M. If you increase the force, A increases. If you increase the mass, A decreases. We saw it in numbers also last, in the last class. So, F has to be defined as mass into acceleration. So, suppose you have 1 kg mass and the acceleration came out to be 3 meters per second square. Then we define that 3 newtons was applied. So, Newton, 1 newton can be defined as take a body with, of 1 kg, give it an acceleration of 1 meters per second square by giving a force and that force you define, you consider it, you decide to have it as 1 Newton. 1 Newton is that force which given to a body of 1 kg gives it an acceleration of 1 meters per second square. We know the concept of acceleration also. It's totally clear. Newton's third law is something slightly different. When you push a body, I push the wall. The wall should move, but the wall doesn't keep quiet. It pushes me back at that instant in the same straight line and in the opposite direction. If I push this board, the board will push me. That's how we get up from the chair. How do we get up from the chair? If I put my legs up, I can't get up. I have to push something to get up. If I push the chair, the chair will push me back. There is a simple thing called action-reaction concept. This is a very important concept. Especially when we come to a concept called momentum. Action-reaction, when we come to collisions, you know, when things... One body, if A gives a force of F, to body B, F, body B at that moment, it's not that because of A giving, B is giving, force comes at that same instant, so we can say force comes in pairs, there's a better way of stating Newton's third law, if A gives a force of F to body B, B gives an equal opposite force in the same straight line to body A, that is how action reaction works. That's how the rockets go up. Rockets pulls, gives, gives a huge force of the fuel and it goes up like this. Very beautiful to see also. So there is a Newton's third law. That completes our Newton's first law, second law and third law. Now we come to Newton himself who discovered the universal law of gravitation. In another context we'll talk about how he discovered it. But the universal law of gravitation says that the force of gravity is equal to directly proportional to mass m1 m2 by r square so force of gravity is equal to g m1 m2 by r square let me explain this now you will not believe it universal law of gravitation means in the universe every mass attracts every other mass so why does this body fall because earth is attracting it but this body is attracted by moon also, but in the moon it falls like this. This acceleration due to gravity is lesser. It's falling slowly because moon is smaller. Its mass is less. Its mass is less. The earth's mass is more. So obviously if it's a if the earth was double, then it will not fall like this. It will not fall like this. It will fall like this totally. So it will not fall like this. The way it falls now, it will fall like this. If it was triple, it would fall like this. The fall is a pull. But normally we are used to only our normal um, acceleration of the body, how it falls. But if the mass was more, were more of earth, the, it will go faster falling. So we can have a science fiction story in which we go to a planet and things are falling like tuck, 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 faster because the planet is bigger. It's like earth only. So it's like very interesting if you think like that. Okay, what we are used to knowing, if we go a little beyond that, we like it. That is the concept of physics. So, we have F is equal to M1 M2 gas. So, the real law is M1. So, if I take this marker M1 into mass of earth, 
by I have to take the radius of that because everything is going to be put it's like everything is pulling towards its center and this we can ignore this pen is here so this whole radius is the r you square it and we have a constant called your universal gravitational concept that will give the exact f and that we can apply to anybody the force of gravitation depends upon the first mass into the second mass and divided by r square let's try to understand r square if I take this body away, 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 if I take it double the distance from the earth, the force on it will reduce by four times, r square. If I triple the distance, the force on it will reduce by nine times, three square. Triple means three times, nine square. If I increase the force by four, increase the distance by four times, then the force will reduce by 16 times. That is the meaning. It keeps on like that. It like, like that it goes on reducing, reducing. So this is the fact of gravitation. This is how gravitation works. So you, if you really want something to escape from gravity, you should know these equations and you can have an escape velocity by which it never comes back. Those things we'll see later. So the core concept here is every mass attracts every other mass. Like actually even these two, these two are attracting. My two hands are attracting. I should, they should come together. But Gravitation is very weak force, very weak force. There is a certain force acting. If I leave them free, these two hands of mine are getting attracted, but it's a very weak force. There's hardly, hardly any effect. But if this were Earth, it will come like this. You understand? If this were Moon, it will come like this. So nothing is falling on Earth. They are getting sticking to Earth. They are all getting pulled to Earth. The sea and the air and the everything. And that's why the shape also is round. Why is the Earth round? Why is the Moon round? It's because of gravity. How do sun uh, stars form? It's again because of gravity, because of the pressure of gravity, the temperature rises. That we'll see in a later section. So gravity is a universal force. It is not only on Earth. Every mass attracts every mother mass according to this equation. That's all. It's actually really that simple. Of course, after discovering it seems simple. The discovery process also is a lovely story which we'll narrate it some other in some other video. So now we have come to the conclusion. Forces, gravitational force is equal to directly proportional to m1 into uh, m2, m1 into m2 by r square, and this is called the universal gravitational constant. Okay. So thank you, uh, thank you everybody. This is Narendra Kumar from Narendra Academy.